What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cannabis Review TV. Today we are going to be looking at the Trace Dog from Strainwise. This is a strain I just picked up from the Spring Strainwise here in Idaho Springs. $19.99 and eight. Killer deal for the quality of this bud. Can't wait to get into this review. Let's do it. Today we're going to go over smell, looks, taste, medicating effect, and um, give you guys my overall opinion on the Trace Dog. So let's do it. Alright, let's go in on the looks while we talk about genetics here. Wow, it smells great too. The Trace Dog is from Top Dog Seeds. It's a cross of the Afghani number no. one back crossed with uh, Chem Dog, and it's a wonderful, beautifully potent, sour, chemically dominant, fuel latent strain um, that is also plays a, a large role in the breeding of Dogs Waltz, Star Dog, and a few other Chem Dog crosses out there as well. I already took a little test run of this, and I. <laughs> can say I'm thoroughly medicated right before this video. Uh, but yeah, we got a strain-wise jar here, picked up an eighth. Comes in the squeeze tube packaging. The buds themselves look nice, as you guys can see. Uh, beautiful orange hairs, kind of have like a bright lime green color to them. The trim is all right, it's decent. It's not a perfect trim, they didn't get too close up into it. Um, all the leaves that are left out do have trichomes on them. It is densely covered although not as densely covered as I would expect. Wow. The buds themselves are rather dry, but they're still sticky. They have a perfect cure to them. You can tell when you're breaking it apart. Ooh, when you break into it, you get a spicy smell. Just a deep, deep, pungent, fuely odor that uh, emanates from this jar, man. Uh, in love, I love the chem dog. I like the, that spice, that chem. So let's go in, uh, have the Pocket Bub Sherlock here, the Sherbler from GlassProdigy.com. And uh, it's all cleaned up, ready to go with some fresh water. So we're going to go ahead and load this up and try out some of this Trace Dog. Get at you with uh, flavor, medicating effect, all that goodness. Give it the old Colorado Crush. Ooh, this is a little bit stickier than most. Definitely respect that. All right, I got some of my beeline sparked up here. Let's go in on it. authentic chem dog flavors I've had in a while. There's a lot of things that say they're chem this, chem that, but you lose that pure potency, that true, authentic, uh, honest chem flavor, and that's what you get out of this, rounded out by an intense sweetness from the Afghani that's been crossed into this strain. Uh, but the chem, man, it just gives you these diesel-y, fuel, OG, sour, uh, response, terpene response to the palate. It's, uh, it's mouth-watering, <laughs> to say the least. Very, very flavorful. And um, as far as the medicating effect, it's very potent. It's one of those heavy hitters. Definitely sets in in the center of the head and kind of radiates out, giving you pressure on your shoulder and your chest. Um, big smile, you know, um, yeah. Great for migraines, ocular pressure for that medicinal effect, really good for the dome. This one uh, is a really relaxing strain if you're having a lot of anxiety or you're just, your day's not going right, man. You just can always look forward to a bag of chem dogs, so cheers to that. <laughs> Intense flavor, intense effect. That's a look at the Trace Dog from Strainwise. Been really, really loving their product as of lately. Uh, tried the Bordello, the Vanilla Kush, which I didn't get on camera. Absolutely perfect, spot on. Check out my Vanilla Kush strain review I did back in 2011, I do believe. It's on the Strainless playlist. 
uh, the, the bordello. I think I mentioned that one already. You guys seen that in the video. I had some Himalayan hike the other day. I wasn't a big fan. It was a purple strain. It wasn't that potent. It was still relaxing. It had uh, some effect to it. It had a really nice taste and flavor. Again, I didn't get that one on camera. I didn't even like that one. It didn't even hit the five mark for me. But then I went back today and I picked up this Trace dog and psh, uh, it's right up there with the Bordello, one of my favorites from Strain Rise. This was a recommended cut from the Bud Tenders. Uh, fat, juicy buds, uh, beautiful colas, bright orange hairs, uh, decently covered in trichomes. Has an amazing flavor, chem dog dominant. Hope you guys enjoy the strain review. Check it out from Strain Rise. That's the Trace Dog. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned, stay stony, and stay subscribed. Cheers. Peace.